What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wilo Two Time, back with another one. And today, I'm gonna be giving you my honest review on the new Fortnite OG season. Um, I got mixed emotions about it. There's some things in here that I absolutely love, and there's other things that should not have came back from the past. You feel me? Like, leave them over there. We don't need that. <laughs> I'm going to give you my list of the goods, and then I'm going to give you my list of the bads. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. Firstly, I'm going to start off with the battle pass. I like it. You know, I like a little split. He's a little big, but hey, I be going in with that banana. <laughs> nah, but honestly, it's like 50 levels, and that's including the bonus levels. So it's not bad. For 30 days, 50 levels, I feel like that is good. You know? And I feel like you don't really got to be sweating too much to unlock everything. I've been playing maybe like on and off for the last two days. I'm already level 17. I know there's people that are already further than that. You know, I, I feel like you don't have to buy levels for this pass because you're unlocking everything pretty smooth. Now let's talk about the map. I really love it to an extent. I love the nostalgia feel. I love all the old spots that they brought back. But to me, it feels like everything is so spaced out, and it is definitely made for build mode. But then again, that's OG Fortnite. It's made for building, you know? So I'm gonna just have to man up or something, plug in my controller, and go back to building. As much as I don't like it, I gotta do it. <laughs> At least for this season, you know? Now I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite gun so far. You know, it took me like 10 to 15 games to even figure out what gun I like and what, what loadout I'm gonna run with, okay? So first, the suppressed assault rifle, AKA the silent scar. I love it. To me, it's the most balanced as far as range, fire rate, and damage. It's got little to no kick. And it's pretty accurate. You know, you can use it as an SMG up close. You can hip fire that thing. Or you can really hit people from the distance. As long as you like single tapping, you know, you don't want to just hold it down when they're in the distance. Make sure you crouch in, popping up, popping out. And just keep on tapping that trigger, baby. Then we got the semi-automatic sniper rifle. That thing is golden. I love it. We talking 90 plus damage per shot. You know what I'm saying? Per shot. And, and then the delay on it is not that bad. You know, you can hit someone and then right away, bam, with another one. It, it's got little to no kick. It's perfect for no scope, scoping. You can even hit some trick shots with it. I love it. That's one of my faves for sure. The RPG is back. And when I say that, I mean the RPG is back. <laughs> I ain't talking about that weak pumpkin launcher. I'm talking about that big boy. You know what I'm talking about? You don't have to wait five business days for the rocket to be delivered. We get same day shipping now with a hundred or more damage. Then we got the grapple. I like the grapple, you know what I'm saying, to an extent as well. I feel like it is great when you're trying to rush somebody or when you're trying to climb something up with the speed and get that advantage on them or when you're trying to catch them lacking if they're hiding in the fort. You know, you just use the grapple, bloop, got them. But as far as like mobility, and getting around the map, nah, you're gonna have a hard time with that. But I don't know. I don't know where I stand on it. I like it, but I don't like it. Then we got the shotguns. You never go wrong with the shotgun. I don't care what chapter, what season, they are always the go to for close combat. And this season, they brought back the OG tack and the OG pump. And I love them. It's a toss up on which one I'm choosing. Sometimes I'll run them both instead of an SMG because I feel like if you hit them with the tack and then you hit them with the pump, donezo. Even reverse, hit them with two tacks, finish them with the pump, done. Now, they brought the OG submachine gun and the OG suppress submachine gun back. You never go wrong with those. And when I mean never, I mean never. So for me, when I'm picking up the regular one, that thing is not getting no ADS from me. And I'm talking about from medium to close range. I'm just letting that thing spray. And I promise you they going down. I'll hit someone with the pump or the tack. And then I flip over to the submachine gun. Dunzo. Now when it comes to the suppressed one. I like that too. I don't use it as much. But I promise you. If you're using that thing from medium range. And you ADSing. 
you're going to get them. You don't need to waste time pulling the AR out when they're medium to close range. Just let them have it with that suppressed one. And I promise you, you're going to eat their armor and health up quick. My last gun of choice, I'm going with the hunting rifle. I love it. I love how fast you reload it. I love the damage it does when you actually hit them. You can do trick shots, no scopes. You can ADS. And that thing is nasty with it. Any, anywhere, anywhere from I want to say 90s to I seen it hit like 214 with a headshot. So that thing is my go to unless I can't find it. I don't know why they made it so hard to find, but out of all the matches I played, I might have found it maybe three to four times. And I'm picking it up every time I come across it. Now, that's everything I think is good and that's working for me and that I personally like. You know, people might have their own perspective and how they see it and if they like it and don't like it. But now, I'm going to tell you the bad things that I really do not like about this season. I can't stand it. They brought back the OG M16 and the first AR. Those things are cheeks. Straight cheeks. Long range, short range, no range. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. You know, the hit accuracy, way off. Even when you crouch in, you know, you cannot hold that trigger down on either of those. On the N16, if you hold it down, you're missing more than like 80% of your shots. I don't care how good your aim is. You got to sit there and tap that thing in. And even then, you're still missing a lot of shots. As far as the burst goes, that delay they have on there, nasty. It is so bad. I don't even waste my time trying to pick it up. It's just, I don't like it. Like, it does really great damage, but the time it takes from the one shot to the next shot, it makes it not even worth it. Because by that time, they already at that medium range where they're going to let you have it with the SMG. So it's like, what are you doing? The scoped assault rifle? <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that cheeks out the gate my boy they should have left that where they got it straight up they should not have brought that back it's doing anywhere from 20 to 34 damage per shot and then it's slow so it's like douche douche you know what i'm talking about like <laughs> nah man definitely not worth picking it up i hate it i can't stand that gun where are the hills for not talking about where are we dropping nah bro where the hills at i gotta search three name locations or drop six to seven bodies just to hit a hundred on my slurp that don't make sense i'm picking up veggies i never had to pick up no veggies and now i gotta keep them things on me you would be lucky to get three minis and some bandages in one match no that's not happening bro it don't make sense bring them back please why did they fix the impulse grenades just to bring the old one back that don't make sense to me like you don't even get the same air as the new ones this thing launches you like maybe a foot and a half off the ground and like 20 feet that way you know what i'm talking about like <laughs> like bring back the fixed ones we don't need these ones from og fortnite you should have left the ones that you fixed you know what i'm talking about like bring those ones back please we need those ones and since we're talking about the impulses where's all the mobility you mean I gotta pop out and do a drive-by on a golf cart? Don't get me wrong, that's fun. I don't mind pulling up, popping out, and laying them down on a golf cart, you feel me? But when that and the grapples and these Weenie Hut Jr. impulse grenades that they got, that's the only way of mobility. It's so hard now just to get around the map and drop these high number games. You know, I'm used to hitting anywhere from like 13 to 21 kills a game. And now that mobility is limited, I'm getting nowhere, bro. I'm talking an average of like 7 to 11 kills, bro. Like, come on. Y'all got to bring something back. You know, you got to help us get around the map. And that's it. To me, those are the bad things. You know, we can go with or without those. Um, but like I said, these are just mine. This is my perspective. This is how I feel about the game right now. If you feel this way, let me know. If you feel I'm wrong, also let me know. Now, next week, they're supposed to be dropping another one. So it's like every week we're supposed to be getting an update on the OG season. So I can't wait to see what they bring in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what your thoughts are this season so far.